evolution of life forms. The theory of special creation, it accounts for the existence of diverse plants and animals. It states that, one, all living organisms, species or types were created as such. Two, the diversity was always the same since creation and it will be the same in future also. Three, the earth is about 4,000 years old. Based on the observations, Charles Darwin concluded that existing living forms share similarities to varying degrees not only among themselves but also with life forms that existed millions of years ago. Many such life forms do not exist anymore. There had been extinctions of different life forms in the past and new life forms arose at different periods of times on earth. There had been gradual evolution of life forms. Darwin observed small variations in almost all organisms of a species. That is, differences in characters between the individuals even if they were closely related. Some individuals had favorable variations which ensured their success in the struggle for existence, whereas the other lacked them. Obviously, the fitted individuals that possessed such characters survived more and hence are selected by nature. He called it nature selection and implied it as the mechanism of evolution. Alfred Wallace had also come to similar conclusions. All the existing life forms share similarities and share common ancestors. However, these ancestors were present at different period in the history of Earth. Therefore, the geological history of Earth closely correlated with the biological history of Earth.